It's Madden NFL 24, and we've got a showdown in the NFC West. It's the Seattle Seahawks and the Arizona Cardinals. Coming up next. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Today we've got an NFC matchup on tap as it will be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Alongside my broadcast partner Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, Every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. <laughs> you know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? Here's the kicker, Jason Myers, to get this one started. And off we go on EA Sports. This fielded right at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here come the Cardinals, and it is Kyler Murray from Oklahoma who leads him out. Drafted with the idea that he'd be one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the NFL when he put it all together. We've been seeing that progress throughout his career. This guy's legs, we knew they were phenomenal. Arm, top notch. But now we're seeing his mind come into the game. Reed's defense is better and better each and every week and is showing patience as a passer as well. Not as eager to exit the pocket, finding guys downfield for bigger plays. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. Ball on the 27. Here's a second down and six. Murray now. A good decision in the end. The pull up run gets him nine yards in the first. That's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish it as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. First carry for James Conner. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Marquise Brown was the intended target, but now it'll be third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. To throw is Murray. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. To throw, it's Murray. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. 
He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. Murray's throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 12-yard line. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first and 10 is Connor. Evades him at the 10. And yeah, boy, the strength on display there as he rumbles through tacklers for a gain of about eight. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Now Murray throwing on second down. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. An injury stoppage here, and a lot of worried faces on that offense and on that sideline as Kyler Murray is in some discomfort. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Third and eight. Here's Toon. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal. Connor is in. Touchdown, Arizona. It's not often you talk about statement drives coming right at the start of the game, but that was some statement there. That drive took them the length of the field, and as I look at the clock, ate up nearly the entire first quarter as well. Great work up front, clearing space and an ideal finish on the touchdown run. Extra point good by Prater, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that one a long 11-play drive, and it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. Touchdown out is Prater to kick. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here come the Seahawks and their offense now under veteran head coach Pete Carroll. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. As I remember back in 2013 when he was drafted out of West Virginia, he was coming off a of back-to-back 4,000-yard seasons for the Mountaineers. Hadn't seen as much game time in recent years, but at one point, a capable starter in the NFL. Open man, that's Noah Fant, the tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They get 17 on that one, move the chains, first down Seahawks. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. And now the throw here is incomplete, and with that, we come to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Seahawk football here to start quarter number two. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Up 
the middle. Here's Walker. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. They get 17 on that one. Move the chains. First down, Seahawks. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all. Challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. And Smith's throw into the hands of Lockett. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you make a heavy rush and down he goes. They bring the safety on the blitz and he busts through the drop in for an eight-yard loss. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. A shotgun snap for Smith. And it'll lead to a third and long. They've got left over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. Now a tough spot for Geno Smith and company after the sack. It's third and long. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Back to throw, Smith. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked this time. Protection a lot better, had time to survey the field, and still couldn't find an open receiver. The Seahawks will call on Michael Dixon on fourth down to pump this one away. Greg George, deep for Arizona. That'll be out of bounds, and how good was that? They'll say the three-yard line, that's where they spot it. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. But just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive. Their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And to co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. Second and a couple. Shotgun now for Murray. And that's incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. From the gun, Murray. He's got his running back out of the backfield. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Murray now on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Connor. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, 
They run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Here now, third and a yard. Now Murray again. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Murray now to throw. He's going deep for Brown. And he's got it inside the 10. He's brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. We watched the veteran James Conner put together a very solid first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Just the one touchdown of that first half. Seven nothing our score as we get going in quarter number three. Taking it about the one. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field ready for their second drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up the first down. Keep the sticks moving. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Yeah, to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Just what they need, electric for me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Now quickly here to Smith and Jigba. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing on third down, Smith. Dancing to his left. 
And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. 12 yards on third down as the drive rolls on. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they've wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots. And right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. Now Gino on first down. He completes this to Walker. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up second down. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling. Held it to an okay game. And he's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 52 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. Defense really kept him in check running the football in the first half. Maybe that'll be a spark for him here in half two. So two words come to mind for me. Resilient, because he has to keep bouncing back after some limiting runs. And how about relentless? Keep going, knowing that you may pop one, as he just did there. On first down, Smith. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Gino now to throw. Left side here, that's the tight end fan. Touchdown, Seahawks. Noah Fan, 33 yards. And the Seahawks have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. Well, it took them a little while, but they are on the board here in this third quarter and now with a chance to tie this up. And it gives them a chance to exhale just a little bit, right? Because most of the time, if your first points come in the second half, you're often hopelessly out of the game, but not in this case. Now they have something to build Jason on Myers and a chance to mount a comeback. Jason Myers now for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. That time, a nine-play drive. And it's Noah Fant who caps things off with the touchdown. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second down in a yard. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. 7-7 is our score. Pretty even matchup so far as we start quarter number four. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Murray going to try to throw on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. 
And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 18 on that one, and the Cardinals have a first down. Quarterbacks love slant pass because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision, and receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Murray again, this is Connor. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And Connor going to pick up a Cardinals first down as the tackle made at the 31-yard line. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. Oh, great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. They'll come up first and ten here. They run behind center with Connor. And he'll get this one down to about the ten-yard line. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. They'll come up now on second down. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And once again, he'll get possibly back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Connor up the middle. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This for the lead in the final stages. Raiders kick is good. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. Prater now will send it away following the Mayfield goal. DJ Dallas to return it from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So Geno and the Seahawks down 10-7. A little over a minute to go. And they need at minimum three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The sack goes to Chris Barnes. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Smith. It's caught. Lock it.
This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. One last throw here for Smith. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall.